Wow, so I have a I have a mic. What is this? Huh? <laughs> what the f Open it. Open it. <laughs> oh, I was muted. You were muted. Your mic on. Let me try this again. <laughs> All right, now you can put that back. Right. Eric, Erica, what is this? It's my MacBook. You're holding this for a friend, right? No, it's mine. This is yours? Why? But that's how I communicate with you. Why? Hmm? Okay, so we are going to try and fix this MacBook. So, what is wrong with this MacBook? Uh, liquid damage. What does no it do? Backlight, kernel panics. It's beeping. It's beeping now. Was beeping before. Someone says get her P52. Oh yeah, the only way I fix that is I have to unplug the battery and replug it back in. That's the only way I got rid of it. The beeping? Yeah. Okay, so it turns on. All right, it's taking 700 milliamps, and as you can see, we don't have a logo on the screen. Let's take a look at this MacBook and see if we can make it work. The first thing that I see here is that the long screw has been inserted into the short hole. I did not do that. Then who did? I guess... Well, I know Apple repaired my computer. Like, at least three times. You brought your computer to Apple before I did. bringing it here? I did. <laughs> it, it, um, I bought the computer in 2012, and I went to Apple in 2013, and then I went to Apple again in 2016. Okay, I got a, I got a funny story to tell you guys. Okay, so the reason why I went... Ship. To Apple so quickly. The fan is not even. What? This, this, isn't, this clip What's is not even held in. Look at this shit. Look at what? this. Look at this. No wonder things randomly crashing and kernel panicking because the fan's going to be intermittently spinning because the latch and the connector was not even closed. Oh, by the way, I do want to tell you that they did replace that fan specifically. <laughs> yeah, that, I can tell that they replaced the fan because it is not even latched into the machine. Oh. I can't believe you took it to Apple, Eric. What? I had Apple Care. <laughs> I can't believe you took it to Apple. So you got long screwed and the stuff not plugged in. Okay. So let's open this up. <laughs> okay, so about the story. Okay, so um, I was uh, drinking water or something and... Uh, Something like a bug or something had flown into my water while I was talking to my friend. So I wanted to show my friend this bug. And I was, uh, I was um, talking to them on my webcam. So what I did is I, I said, hey, can you see the bug? And I, I tipped it towards the web webcam. And they said, no, I can't. No, I can't. And then I tipped it even some more. And as you might have guessed, the water splashed all over the keyboard. Yeah. And that's how I got liquid damage on my keyboard back in 2013. This is the, okay, so see, the, the, this screw is supposed to go over here, but they put it over there, and then they put the screw that's supposed to go over there, over there. You know what happens when you put the long screw in the short hole? Tell me. Not good things. <laughs> Hawaii needs a proper MacBook repair shop. We actually only have uh, Apple stores, and then we also have Apple certified repair places, and that's about it. Disgusting. Practice. Okay. That's complete okay. disrespect. Let's put all this aside. Give me a Ziploc bag to put all the little pieces in. All right. Give me my... Uh... Why didn't <laughs> I get a ThinkPad? Because that was... Uh... That was my second laptop. The first one I got was uh, HP, which is, in my opinion, a horrible product. I had it for six months, and then it Can't, gave me I? issues. Huh? May I? No, no. What? Please, please. No. Hmm? Oh, fine. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Now, so backlight is going to be somewhere around here. And surprisingly enough, that area is actually really good. So this is the backlight chip, and the part that's typically going to blow up is your feedback ball right over there. That looks fine. 
But we do have massive corrosion on this section of the backlight circuit. Treat her like Kevin, please. What? Jesus Christ, no. Okay, we get the multimeter on the screen. And let's see if our backlight fuse is good. We are not going to treat her like Kevin. We are going to treat her like an Apple customer. Kevin, make up an invoice for 325 plus tax. Let's see. So our backlight fuse appears to be open. So this could be nothing but a backlight fuse. And I'm going to guess that there's a short to grounds over here. As a result, yep. Let's see, what do we have there for... Yep, zero ohms. So this little cap over here is probably corroded, so we just knock that thing off the board. And... Interesting, our short circuit is still there. Alright, so we gotta find out where that short circuit is hiding. So this is gone. So it's either gonna be... Now this capacitor over here, as you can see... Wow. So do you see this? Which one of these capacitors is the one that you think is damaged, Erica? If you had a guess... The grossest one. Which is the grossest one? The, the one on the bottom? The bottom right. Okay, what makes the bottom right one grosser? A lot of okay, it has a lot of corrosion and green that stuff. That's What else do you see? Uh, there's something looks wrong with the eye part. That little chip. If I had to guess. See this? That thing. Yes, there. That's chipped. So we're gonna remove that, and our short circuit will most likely be gone. And by me remove it, I mean you. Let's switch seats. What? Nah, it's going to be easy. What? Don't worry about it. It's only your computer. What? Have a seat. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm ah, it's going to be fine. Mm. Right. Okay, so what you're going to do... Okay. First thing I want you to do is look in the microscope. Okay. Okay, I see it. All right, can you see well? Yeah, I can. Very good. Now, you're going to hold that. Here. Now, with your left hand, grab the tweezer. My left hand? My right hand. <laughs> Grab it? So where do I do? Do I just grab it? Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> so no, you, left hand, that's right hand. So left hand. Left hand. Yep, left hand, grab tweezer. Oh I mean, and now left hand, use the tweezer to grab, hold that capacitor. Okay. Okay. But now try to hold it from the red part. So you're going to have part. to angle it, instead of it being like this, like this. Okay. All right. And try holding it like this. So see okay. how you're holding it? You're holding the tweezer like this. Uh-huh. Try holding like that. So that like this? Okay. No, no, not like that. See, it, the tweezers are going up and out uh -huh. rather than into my hand. Okay. Do that. Like so. All right, okay. now your turn. Okay. Okay, now you're going to use your right hand with this to heat that up until it gets okay. hot enough to remove it. Oh. But you're going to hold this like you would <laughs> hold this like you hold a Sharpie that you're, uh, or a pen. Okay. Right? I know I should. I wasn't prepared for yeah. this. Just the uh, no no soldering here. All right, now remember you're gonna point this at the capacitor, not at other stuff. <laughs> Erica, you're pointing it at other stuff. <laughs> okay, Erica, watch. You do this, okay. and you point. You're gonna point. See the, this thing? It's okay. got to point at the capacitor. Okay. All right, okay. So go. Okay. Okay. You're, you're pointing at Thunderbolt. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't care about Thunderbolt much either. But now you're pointing at battery. Erica, you <laughs> look at the heat. Look at this. Okay. You okay, how about we just do fuck it? We do it without the microphone. Okay, that works. Here, let's we do it like this. Yeah, and heat the capacitor and not other stuff. So you want to point straight down the board. Straight down. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're going to slowly go in on it. Okay. Closer? Yeah. Okay. Now give it maybe 20. So there you go. Oh. Oh. Came off. Came off. Okay, put this back in there. Can I turn off? No, no, like this. See? Like that. There you go. Wait. All right. Oh, it's still on. Now we're going to see if... Yeah, it stays on to cool oh. itself off. So now we're going to see if we still have a short circuit. So I want you to put one probe on okay. the left pad and this on the right pad that you just took that component off of. Uh, the one on the Phoenix track. Is this? Is this? Yep. And your short circuit's mm -hmm. gone. So you fixed it. <laughs> All right. Now we need to replace a fuse. Okay. So how do you feel about replacing that small thing over there without knocking the stuff off oh, around it? not very confident. Okay, you did have to work. I'll do the easy oh, part. thank you. <laughs> I tried, everyone. I tried. Oh, yoink.
<laughs> All right. How many times have you soldered before? Zero. You know, I have, I have never done this before. I have never done this before. In the words of William Hung, I have no training in this. <laughs> you watched William Hung? Huh? You, you ever watched uh, American Idol when he has his uh, audition? Yeah. Yeah, at the end of it, he kind of looks down and he's like, you know, I have no, I've never had uh, formal training singing. The dude's made better money than I ever have, so I have... <laughs> All right, we are going to wick those pads once I find my wick. Here, a little wick, 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 wick. <laughs> you should always know the names of the thing, of your tools so that you can call them when they get lost. She didn't use flux, indeed. She's learning from Paul. I have to say, you know, it, it definitely is a lot smaller, these, these components, then. I thought <laughs> it sounds so stupid for me to say it that way. Uh, zoink. So we're also going to have to address those random kernel panics you're having. Now, how often does it beep? And also when it beeps, is it three fast beeps or is it three slow beeps? Uh, it beeps maybe once a month and I just unplug the battery and then now, it works. When it beeps, is it beep, 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 or is it beep, beep? Beep. I forgot. Fast beeping or slow beeping? Moderately s uh, beeping. There's no such thing as moderate <laughs> beeping, customer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it was earlier. That beeping. Yeah. Uh, die and back, backlight fuse. Die. I stab you. No, I have not had a bagel yet. There's so many bagel places here in New York, too. All right, we're going to grab some capacitors. You know, I'm not even going to use a donor board. Just for you, we're going to use new capacitor. All right. He can go ahead and fix your MacBook if you go ahead and send it to sendyourmacbook.com. You remember my Not me, thing? though, not me. If, if it was me, it'd be here till the age of... <laughs> till, till forever. Way too long. Don't fly away, little fuse. Do not fly away. I fuse. do. I've been using a MacBook since 2012. I had a HP and I hated it. Okay, so this is what happened. Okay, back in uh, about 2011 or so, I wanted to get a laptop. That was my first laptop. And I asked people, I said, what should I get? And I was on the fence between, you know, an HP and an Apple. And my computer friends told me, they said, oh, you know, an Apple is better if you go ahead and get it. But the HP is good, too. The HP was cheaper. So I got the HP. I used it for about six months. And it was a horrible product. I, I, I flung that computer away, basically. Even though it was factory reset several times, it was just terrible. HP sucks. So then I went over and I got a 2012 MacBook Air. And that is what's here today. Uh, if you wanted me to fix it, and this would be a very, very long stream. Okay. Very, very long stream. Way too long. No. Yoink. Yeah, so my, my laptop experience has only been HP and Apple, and that's it. One, two, three. But I do have to say I brought this to the Apple store about three or four times. And all they did was long screw you. Okay, so the HP, what happened was is that it just got incredibly slow. I mean, very, very, very slow. It was freezing on me. Um, the track pack was bubbling up. And what happened was is I told um, HP, I said, hey, can you go ahead and cover this under warranty? And they said, well, they looked at a picture of it. And they said, oh, you know, it's actually just normal wear and tear. And that, tor and that really, um, you know, turned me off so much when I heard about that. And they said if I, if I sent it into them... If they determined that it wasn't their fault, then I would be charged for return shipping or something like that. And That's reasonable. You know, and I was like, wait, this is not normal wear and tear. This is, you know, like a bubble. The this drive probably died. I don't know. How much did you pay for that HP? I think it was like $700, $800. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is she being a customer? Stream? I am being a customer. Was she being, I can admit is this, that. Is this reasonable or was she but being a customer? But after that, after that I, I determined that I did not want to go ahead and uh, support HP anymore. And I went over to the land of Apple. 
And I have five Apple products now. But only two of them work. Two or three of them work. Yeah. Actually, three of them work. That's the number we're done with this. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> All right. So random kernel panicking. Let's see. What else is there? So we only had corrosion on the LCD circuit. I would not expect that to cause kernel panicking. This may have kernel panicking because... Ran oh. Right by your BIOS chip. Look Ooh. at your SPI ROM. Uh huh. Why uh. does your MacBook have so many pubes on it, Erica? What is that? I don't even know what that is. You sure that isn't cat hair? Oh, don't you try to blame that on me. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you're blaming that on me. <laughs> well, it's actually white. It could be another. It could be a white cat, you know? <laughs> I would blame this on a salsa. Huh? Hey, if it was feathers, I'd take full ownership on that. Oh, God, this doesn't even have legs anymore. Oh. Yeah. What a mess. All right. Hi, Sa. <laughs> Apple Dova yes. has her in his grass. Don't let them Those three pads up there are just bye. Oh, Jesus. Yes, he's still, Sao Sao is still alive and well and chirping. He's safe in Hawaii. <laughs> Mr. Clinton's going to be doing a collaboration stream with Sao Sao shortly. Mr. Clinton? His poor little MacBook. See, Eric is not the type of Mac owner that spills something on it and then stops. She just keeps running electricity through I that thing. I keep running through it. You just keep putting electricity through this thing day I in, did. day out. I I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just soldier on. Let's just soldier on. Without even giving it a little bit of cleaning. What? Someone should call four one one on you for abusive Apple products. What? This is mean. Ooh. It's like if you brush your teeth every day, you're fine. And when you go to the dentist, you need a normal cleaning. Mm -hmm. But if you never brush your teeth when you go to the dentist, you know what they do? So people, are, so, so people are supposed to go and bring their MacBooks to get a cleaning uh, every six spill, months? After you spill something on it. See? Because now I have to scrape. This is like going to the dentist. Do you hear that noise? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm going to trigger some people that are afraid of the dentist right now. No, I did not feed that little bird to Clinton or Blackberry. He's, he's very safe and hoy. Aww. Hey, you should read the comment from Harrison uh, T. Brown. I'm 15. I just want to thank Lewis for the inspiration to create my own repair service a year ago. Oh, oh, God damn. Good job, kid. Good job. I'm proud of you. You hear that? <laughs> you hear this? 15. Wow. So? I should have a link to an X-Acto knife in the description that's similar to that one. So now, after that's done, all, all our scraping is done, now it's time for our, our cleaning. Someone says, I feel that in my soul. Oh. Indeed. Okay, now my main concern is that middle... I would never feed him to Clinton. The pad may be okay, but is the via that's feeding it good? It doesn't seem like that's any good. So i got to figure out what that goes to later. Oops. Okay, some flux. Aww. Camera's potato. Yes, I'm streaming at one megabit per second because of Time Warner. Sorry. I have a 20 megabit per second connection and I can't stream at two megabit without it crashing. Can we have eight? Can we have eight? Oh. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Drop frames. Oh, God. It's not taking it. I got greedy. Uh. Congrats on getting a girlfriend. This is the Renaissance. Thank you. Now we just have to work on this whole Mac user thing. It's a work in progress. The bottom probe point uh, does not look very nice either. To love and micro solder, says Pedro. Pedro was an employee in 2012. He's a good guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Alright, that's as clean as that stuff's gonna get. Someone said once we have a female guest, the internet sucks. Yep. Oh my god, even at 2 megabit it's not letting me stream. Huh? 
I see Hi Hi has oh, yeah, a homemade like sign right behind him. Do your job. All right, so let's see what that chip over here is for. Open aboard view for an 820-3209. So that's the thing right next to the BIOS chip here. PM Sleep S3L. What do you know? SMC adapter enable, ACENL. Okay, this is Wi-Fi. So wireless LAN enable generation. So what this is going to do is if AP power enable is present and SMC adapter enable are present and PM Sleep S3L are present, this is the signal that tells the machine to turn on mm -hmm. and put, put all the power rails on to get in an SO state of being on. This is when the, your power adapter is working, and this is when it's telling it access point power enable. You're going to get WLAN enable L, and WLAN enable L is going to go to this transistor. Oh, God, what is this for? PM WLAN enable L is probably going to go to the Wi-Fi card or something on the other side. I would expect it to. Ah, it goes to a resistor here that goes to this. What a mix. For creating 3.3 volts that goes over to your Wi-Fi card. Interesting. Okay, so that's why you don't have Wi-Fi. So let's get a replacement transistor. Now I don't have, I don't know if I have this donor board because it's so old. But we may be able to grab this part off of a donor. So, what is your name? 2N7002DW. I'll just find a donor. Be right back. Yeah, it's actually a lot harder to do. Um, if you caught it earlier, you, you would have seen me uh, fumbling big time. <laughs> I know, he probably does. Um, I, like, I like New York a lot. Um, I have to say, though, the roads are definitely very bumpy in certain areas. There's a... Hopefully, he uploads a video with his buffang, and that's all I'm going to say. If you see it, you will you, you'll probably laugh. I have seen the basement. It's actually a lot smaller than uh, it looks on camera. What's a lot smaller? Uh, the, the basement. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, this is, the, uh, this is the board we're grabbing parts from? Wow. <laughs> Nothing but the best for you, Erica. This is a prize, okay. Well, I'm actually riding behind him, so uh, I hope he stays off these slippery metal plates. Actually, I have a Wi-Fi dongle on it. If, if you, oh, I already threw that away. Oh, you, you threw my dongle? Yep. What? What? That thing's a piece of shit, Erica. I had a little Wi-Fi dongle because I didn't have Wi-Fi on it. That thing is it's broken. Well, the plastic part broke off. It's but the rest of it works. It's gone. Okay. Now, we're going to have to check out those corroded pro points. So there's one over here, PM Sleep S3L. So you can grab a wire to that. Um, one of these three resistors over there. Indeed, Ed. Indeed. Thank you, by the way. So we do this. It went somewhere. Jumper wires. Oh, I got it. Actually, I do have an iPhone 4. I'm not kidding you. I also have an iPhone SE. You have an iPhone 4? Yeah. Can I have an iPhone 4? You can borrow mine. I, want, I don't want to borrow it. I want to own it. I would I like an iPhone it. 4. I love that stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, you should read this comment right here. Quick, I'll give you a little thanks. I do volunteer work. For two years, was starting my own business, and the second year was a bit rough. Your videos and depression really helped me do it during that time. Man. Thank you very much. I'm really glad it got, did you something. Did you some good. Hey, Clon. All right, so now i got to do I've this jumper. I've actually seen the iPhone 4 video. All right, so we've got our jumper wire. Now we have to run this to where PM Sleep S3L is, and that's going to be all the way on the other side of this friggin' mess over here. The cluster fuck of resistors under the CPU. It's not raining.
raining outside. It's very sunny. Okay, so we're going to run you right here. I could either run it to there or to here. I should actually say we met at an Apple store, but we didn't. I think you could probably buy one for about $25 used. I want an iPhone for it. You should turn on a fan if it's so hot. Actually, here's here's uh, here's something interesting. So we had a um, we went to eat out at a vegan izakaya place, and Thank I mentioned that he was eating apple cinnamon oatmeal. And uh, after he realized what I had disclosed online, he no longer eats that apple cinnamon oatmeal. Alright, you go there. Can do a route around here. Some cash for the internet meter. Thank you. Okay, so what else do we have? Now there's this probe point under there that could. Eh. SMC adapter N. Okay, so SMC adapter N is really only present on SMC and... Ah, oh, this resistor on the other side of the board. Hmm, do I really... Is that, is that really broken or... Yeah, it looks like it's good. Good enough for rock and roll. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is see if we have backlight. And after we see if we have backlight, I'd also like to see if we have uh, Wi-Fi. This thing's obviously going to need an ultra... Ah, here we go. This is probably going to be the cause of our kernel panicking. What is so, this? what is this green stuff over here? What's this little cluster? Because the corrosion we had was by backlight, which is not going to cause kernel panicking, and Wi-Fi, which is not going to cause kernel panicking unless it was on the card, because the kernel panicking PCI Express item could cause kernel panicking, but not kernel... not on power circuit. But over here, let's see what this stuff's for. Isolate CPU memory. Ooh, memvtt enable NL. This is stuff that's going to be enabling power for the memory. And your computer's every now and then beeping, right? Yeah, it is. It is. It's so if beeping. your computer's beeping every now and then, mm -hmm. and the power... F so beeping typically is a uh, RAM issue. So it's not recognizing the RAM or the RAM is bad. And the corrosion here is around the area responsible for powering the memory. So your RAM is probably turning off intermittently, and that's what's causing your beeping. Why didn't the Apple Store fix this? Because they can't. Why? Well, they could have fixed it. They could have just replaced my whole board. I guess that's a replacement. Pinching in to buy Lewis's own MacBook. You go to hell and you die, Oscar <laughs> Fowler. All right, we're not going to have to replace much here. We just got to get rid of this corroded stuff. And... I'm wondering where high high is. So how many of these pro points can be revived and how many of them are gone? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Don't touch that. Let the, the, don't touch it. Don't <laughs> touch that. If you grab that by the wrong end, very bad things will happen to you. <laughs> right, so. uh. Okay. And the lighting is terrible. You can barely see me. What is that? Why does Hi Hi's laptop say "Help me"? Oh, okay. I actually didn't notice that. 
Nobody help can him. I, can, I, can, I, can I alter that and write don't help me on there? Yes. Maybe he won't notice, right? I'm just going to write don't help me. I think he's busy. But there's no pen here. Now, I don't want to scrape away what is probably a vulnerable pad. So I'm barely scraping and just kind of hovering the soldering iron over. There's a lot of flux there, which is going to be helpful. None of that Paul amount of flux. Redo every pad. This is a. There we go. See, that's what I'm looking for. I want the corrosion to get sucked up into the solder blob. I don't want to solder over corrosion, but I don't want to scrape hard enough that I break the pro point that's going to be attaching those two pieces. Yeah. So one of the pieces of corrosion was on a via right here. I don't have a pen. Oh, so these two, this probe point actually is allowed to be corroded because those two points are supposed to be attached to one another. So I can just put a solder blob over there and that'll do the job. Maybe I'll put a wire. I'm not going to be that lazy. The wire between these two points will do. Since those two legs of the chip are actually supposed to be shorted together in this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there we go. Bada boom. So now we should have less of that random crashing. For memory errors, redo those, that probe point. This probe point that's nasty, I don't have to care about because I just used a, bi a wire to bypass it. This is the last one. We're going to see what the sh condition of that probe is. A little mild scraping. Some random corrosion up there. Some decoupling caps, I imagine, for the CPU and PCH vCore circuits. Erica, it looks like MGTOW has made it to my chat. I know. Erica is actually one of the most, is more MGTOW than me, and she's a female, which is I one actually, of I actually watch, a, I'm not going to say what the name is, but I actually do watch a, a number of MGTOW videos. She is way more MGTOW than any men that I've ever met, which is odd because of the whole... Yeah, I make sure he doesn't know about the wall. I'm familiar with the wall. Hey you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can he you actually, he actually uses a ThinkPad. Hey you. Oh, you mean the other wall? I thought you meant. Hmm? What? My favorite album from the 70s. Oh. And all these little connections we redo. for Erica to do this repair stream with an L. I much prefer him to Lewis. Go do paperwork or something. <laughs> I'm not trusting my laptop to that buffoon. Trust. Uh, Let customer laptops get the Anel Actually, treatment. Actually, do you think Anel could handle it from here? Do you think so? Do you think that would be an interesting stream? Do you hear my half silence, half? Erica? Huh? Do you hear my silence? Okay, a little bit of green stuff over there. I should actually be more committed to buy Apple products now, right?
all those little green points, those are going to corrode later. And again, this is going to go through an ultrasonic cleaning, but I want to make sure that when it does go through that ultrasonic cleaning, that those don't wind, that the, the, the probe points don't wind up falling off with the dirt. Because that's a big issue. You know, it's a very common question, and I get it all the time, and I should probably do a video on it, which is why am I cleaning, why am I not cleaning the board before working on it? And it's because I want to see all these things, because I don't want that little probe point to come off in the <laughs> ultrasonic cleaner. I mean, I not know where it is. Okay, here. Uh. He, he, Blur wants you to fix this board instead of me. Do you want to hop on? He wants somebody with handsome Midway. Staten Island charm. Do. Would you guys like that? Midway. Tag, tag me in. Tag. Yeah, I, t I guess yeah, so like we're, a tag we, I already did the no, did the no backlight part. Do you want to go over the randomly crashing part on an air from 2012? It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Exactly. <laughs> Do you know who Jane Mitchell is? That's personal. Uh, he's a, I have heard? no idea. I know the person who asked. How's it going, John? Mm -hmm. right, so. uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it, it <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, now... Well, we're going to put this to the ultrasonic later, but for now I'd like to see if this gets you a backlight, and also a Wi-Fi. I have no idea who that is either. Oh. Mm -hmm. I almost forgot. What? What do you mean, dear God? I almost forgot. <laughs> what? Do you want your machine to have a JTAG connector on it, Erica? If it doesn't need one, you can take it off. You're talking to a side of microphone. Okay, if it doesn't need one, you can take it off, but if it's needed, you can take it off. Die. Die. Yes. I was going to say... Wow. Going off. There's a Paul Daniels in my chat. Yep. How's it going, Paul Daniels? Okay. Oh. Yeah, I can't believe I almost missed an opportunity to remove an innocent little JTAG connector. What? Someone said selling that JTAG at a premium on the store. <laughs> and it went on the ground. Randomly crashing kernel panicking pole? Huh? Eh? Randomly smashing with the um, hammer? What? Yes. I've realized so apparently the Oh. Apparently the water okay. tends to trend towards the mem VTT enable circuit, which is why it could be randomly uh, kernel randomly beeping. Because if it would stop powering the memory I don't randomly. Own AirPods yet. Then it would So look <laughs> at the excellent lighting that we have, Paul. Paul, trust me, that was my that was my first instinct. Actually, I don't even go to KFC myself. I should have had the chat do a vote. What? So what the fuck is this? Erica, what, really? What? What is this? T can you tell everybody what this is? Oh, so this is... Okay, so I tried to replace my Wi-Fi card myself. What? Get that shit the fuck out of here. <laughs> I replaced my Wi-Fi card myself and it still didn't work. So I got this little USB Wi-Fi dongle. And the plastic part... The plastic <laughs> part um, broke. And I guess that doesn't work anymore. For sure. <laughs> Rip. It served me very well. And yeah, now it definitely doesn't fit in. But it was a very handy USB Wi Fi dongle. Yes. See? It, it, it goes in that way. And it had this little plastic part, but it broke off. Yeah, I had to use a dongle on my computer. I, I think it is, yeah, it's it's uh, at a max or something like that.
right screw, right hole. <laughs> now the dongles watch. You know, we, we still haven't, um, we're still watching. <laughs> haven't, uh, we've made it halfway through. How, to Erica, stop. What? Now they're all going to post spoilers. It's too late. What? You think they're going to post spoilers? Chat you can't look at chat, Erica. Uh -oh. We have to fucking X this window. <laughs> yeah, I hit, I... No, I, I don't think... They, well, Are even you kidding if, me? Even if they ruin it, we'll just ban them forever, I guess. That doesn't matter, but then it'll still be spoiled. I can't believe I'm screwing this together mm -hmm. before I test it. That's breaking some of the most basic rules. Okay, let's just make sure backlight is no longer shorted so I don't blow a fuse. <laughs> That's a decent number. So we have put that together. Let's see if you turn on or if you beep. I wonder if the battery's dead. Okay, how many amps do you take? Ahem. Uh oh. Turn off. Let's see, unplug battery. You take 180 milliamps and don't turn I actually on. like burritos uh -oh. a lot. Ah, oh, here we go, thank God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that would be great if I killed your MacBook on stream. Huh? You'd never believe me if I said it was, uh, was X. What? <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Eric, I'm gonna trash this piece of shit. Okay, Why so you, you get a light on the screen at least. You're getting a backlight? No, no, it, it was Yay. beeping. I thought I had fixed the beeping, and why is the donation not showing up? Um, Who manages uh, these things? Is that the wrong screen for that or something? Why is it. Okay, YouTube live alerts. I, I don't know what that was. What, did I just get a donation? I'm very sorry if that showed up. <laughs> it's okay. Don't dox Erica. Everyone knows. It's too late. It's okay. All right, si sign in. Wait, let's just change this so that they can't huh? see whatever it is you're typing. Sorry, Paul. They donated $2 to tell me to play a song in the background. That's adorable. Oh, All right, log in. Let's see if you have Wi-Fi. See if we can okay. connect to Wi-Fi. That's, it's the resolution of our external monitor. We should use it on an external monitor. But why is it stuck at it? Because it's an Apple product and it's dumb and it doesn't know to change the resolution. And it's also... Yes. All right, so... Let's see if it sees... Oh, my God. What is this desktop? What? What OS is that? I have that? all this... It's like stuff. Mavericks or something. It is. Uh, Erica, your desktop has... What? How many... That is way too many icons. What? All right, so 1440 uh, by 990. Whoops, I clicked the wrong one. 1440 by 900. Okay, that's good. So we have a backlight. Now let's oh, see wow, if we see Wi-Fi networks. Uh, yeah, usually use so see, it sees Wi-Fi networks, and it has a backlight. So congratulations. Yay! You have a working laptop. But it's a Mac. What? It's Eric. It's a Mac. We got to get rid of this thing. No. Paul, where's the hammer? Okay. <laughs> All right. One. No. Two. Wait, wait, we need desk cam. Oh. No. Three. Can I? What? We need super small. Hammer? Cleo? No. It's like rip that apple no. right out of it. How, almost, how else am I supposed to communicate with you? We don't need communication. I do. Can I get my thing pad up? Here's some money to valet the buffang at a nice restaurant. Thank you. Valet parking for a buffang. Oh, I wonder, oh, by the way, just for Kevin's huh? sake, I figured, what? uh, hmm? what? uh, oh, uh, oh, yes. cameras, cameras, yes. cameras moving. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what? All right. See you all in the next one. Thank you very much. And as always, I hope you learned something. See ya. This video is brought to you by our sponsors at store.rossmangroup.com. Thank you for supporting our sponsors that help keep us in business. On store.rossmangroup.com, you can find chips, supplies, 
ultrasonics, flux, soldering stations, and more. With 4.9 stars on Shopper approved, same-day shipping from New York City, and free continental shipping over $30, you can't lose. We even offer free support, unless you're a please bro, live chat, and are adding new products every day. If you buy today, we'll throw in a special offer that your order will actually go through properly. What are you waiting for? Go to store.rossmangroup.com to get yourself some authentic Amtec Flux. Don't delay. Buy today.